Professor Clements with you as we uh, consider more material on formation of images by mirrors in chapter 25 section 7 of OpenStax College Physics. Now here we have a convex mirror. The convex mirror, the uh, portion of the mirror on the optics axis is closer to the object than the other sections of the mirror. Uh, so bowed outward towards the object. We have a principal axis with uh, some object located off to the left here. The object uh, position is 28 centimeters. The mirror has a radius of curvature of 12 centimeters. And we know that the focal length is the radius of curvature divided by 2. Because this is a convex mirror, that focal length is a negative number. You have to insert a negative sign. You have to remember that the uh, focal length is negative. So the ray tracing, we're going to use uh, at least two, maybe three. We'll see how bold we are. Rules for ray tracing. So I'm going to uh, go from the top of this arrow parallel to the optic axis. So we're coming into a mirror. Of course, this uh, energy is going to reflect from the mirror. And our rule number one for ray tracing says that this ray is going to leave the mirror as if it came from the focal point. So as if means there's no actual energy back here. I'm going to put dotted lines. And then a solid line out here. So the energy would be bouncing off the mirror that way. For rule number two, I'm going to head towards the center of the mirror. So we're on a line here going through the center of the mirror. And in that situation, I'll straighten out my diagram a little bit here. Um, going through the center of the mirror, we're going to reflect back on the ray itself. So there's no actual energy back behind the mirror. But we're headed towards the center. So the energy heads this way, and then it bounces back on itself. Our eye, however, if we're out here looking at this mirror, will extend these rays back, and many other rays, but this, these two in this diagram, will extend them back and find a crossing point right here. So this would be our virtual image. There's no actual energy back there. The image is upright. So we have a virtual image. And uh, let's uh, calculate this image location. Again, our values are measured from the mirror. 28 centimeters out to the object. The focal point back here is minus 6 centimeters. The focal length is minus the radius of curvature divided by 2. The radius was given as 12 centimeters, though the focal length is minus 6. Again, we're using 1 over DO plus 1 over DI equals 1 over F. And we have uh, two of these numbers. We'll take DI as the unknown. So 1 over 28 plus 1 over DI equals 1 over Six. Do you think that's correct? You should say there's minus six there. Again, we're working with the convex mirror. It's crucial you remember that the focal length is a negative number. So now you should pause, bring out your own calculator, and uh, proceed. Welcome back. 1 over di is, is going to be a minus 1 over 6, minus 1 over 28. and I came up with minus 0 0.020381. To find di, you know, this is can be divided by 1. We have to invert both sides. And my calculator produces a value for di of minus 4.94 centimeters. So can this be correct? Well, we're in good shape as the di value is negative back behind a mirror. That's our convention. di is positive if we're out in front of the mirror. And if we take a look here, the focal length is at 6 centimeters. 
we're calculating roughly minus 5. Though this arrow might be a little bit too far away from the mirror, but uh, this image arrow is roughly in the proper position. It is smaller than the minus 6 centimeter number where our focal point is uh, located. So we've located the uh, the image by ray tracing. We've calculated the image. You know, if you wanted to, you could do an, another uh, ray in here, but it's uh, you know it's a little difficult to draw. The third one would head towards the focal point and then bounce back from the mirror, and we'd extend the light back. So I'm not going to clutter up the diagram. You only need two rays to locate the image. I'm going to use those two, and then just uh, in my mind, if I trace a ray in here headed towards the focal point, it would bounce back down here, extend that back, and I'm in good shape for uh, arriving at the same crossing point. So you should practice on this yourself, both the ray tracing and the calculations.